gonna make a rear bumper for this thing. Uh, what this is, is a JK Amazon cheapy bumper. And when I say cheapy, it is cheap. I feel bad for the people who buy these things and try to run them on their Wranglers. They're just shit. You can't tow from this thing. You can't pull from this thing. It's all for show. Uh, you're going to kill somebody if you uh, try to use this tow hitch and bolt this thing up to your rig. But the bumper was only 160 bucks. It's a good start and it looks pretty good. So that being said, I'd spend the same amount of money buying this metal in raw form and I got a platform to work with and I'm just gonna cut this all up and form it to how I want it on this uh, sidekick and then I'm going to reinforce everything and uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I I got a hitch that I don't even know what it's to. It's one of those curt hitches. Um, I'm gonna cut it all up, basically build the structure from the real hitch and form it into this bumper and tie it into the frame here. And But I'm gonna have to chop this thing up and, and figure out how to do that. So now I'm gonna tack these in here and go to the main hitch of this cheap bumper. And then, uh, I'll come in here, take the bumper off once I got it to where it's mounted where I want it. And then I'll cut the back of the bumper open and weld this all in properly. Cause I'm just gonna have to be able to tack in here and get this all set right. And then uh, I'll show you guys the next step of what I'm doing here. All right, so now I got it all uh, welded into that hitch on the Amazon cheap bumper. It uh, was just sheet metal, so use the Kurt one. It was a lot stronger. It's not my best welding work, but I got good melt in on all this stuff. And I was filling huge gaps and just trying to get this thing right. So you can see just to a sidekick bracket uh, for, for a hitch. It was, it was actually just some homemade one I took off a junker that I bought and then uh, tied that curtain in there. So now just the cosmetic stuff of this. I built up my, my pieces here and tied that in underneath the tail lights and stuff like that. What I do for this is just cut out a piece of cardboard, make my template, and then just tack that in. And then for this stuff, I just pretty much just freehand uh, scrap into those, like, you know, figure out a piece there. Then I use the angle grinder, cut it, and then just kind of start molding all that around until it looks decent. But I was thinking for here, kind of just tack this on in there and build like a structural skeleton behind there with this and with like X's in there. So, and then I got to grind all this. This is just booger welds until I figure out what uh, I didn't want to warp it too bad but then i gotta come back hit the back side and then i'll grind this all flush so yeah it's coming along with a little bit and then I put a post that comes off of this D-ring holder back to the frame and welded a nut onto the frame so that that's a mount point here mount point here and then it's just your standard hitch mount points didn't build this thing to be towing with it it's obviously a four cylinder you're not going to tow shit with this thing so uh, it's more for a dirt bike uh, hitch that I'm going to put a dirt bike on. Um, so out in the woods, I have two vehicles uh, so I don't get stranded and to tow myself out uh, or, or pull on this if I get stuck or whatever. So all in all, uh, it's not that hard to do. It's a nice little hack that'll get you halfway there if you 
buy one of these Amazon cheapy bumpers. I think I paid 168 for the bumper itself. Probably into this building, this bumper, probably 270 bucks. So fairly cheap and it looks good. I think anybody with a welder and an angle grinder can bang this out. It's not hard. So uh, have at it. It's a cheap little hack that'll, that'll get you halfway there. So if you like these cheap little car hacks, uh, like and subscribe. It helps me out. Thanks.